Good morning, all of you. Welcome to the teaching of English for Standard 10. The first unit is a letter to God. Now, <clears throat> they say faith can move mountains, but what should we put our faith in? Now, the saying that the faith can move mountains is a wonderful saying. I am really impressed by that. But here the question that is posed is that what should we put our faith in? This is the question this story delicately poses. Now this story tells us as to what we should keep our faith in. Lancho is the main character of the story. Lancho is a farmer who writes a letter to God when his crops are ruined, asking for a hundred pesos. So here this is something totally unworldly. We never write letters to God. We do pray, we do for Him and ask for things also. But here, say the farmer, Pencho, writing a letter to God and is asking for a hundred pesos. Pesos is a currency because his crops are ruined. Does Lencho's letter reach God? Do you think that his letter would reach God? Does God send him the money? Think what your answer to these questions would be and guess how the story continues. So now let us go through the lesson. Here the story begins. The house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the crest of a low hill. Crest means the top. On the top of a low hill, it was not a very high hill, it was a low hill. On the top of that low hill, in a valley, there was one house. From this height, one could see the river and the field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers that always promised a good harvest. When you are at the, on the, in the house, what can you see from there? You can see the river, and a field of ripe corn dotted with the flowers. And what does the field dotted with the flowers indicate? That it are promised that there would be a good harvest. But there was one condition. The condition was the only thing the earth needed was a downpour. If there would be a good downpour, if there would be good rain, then as expected, there would be a good harvest. Now, <clears throat> throughout the morning, Lancho, who knew his fields intimately, he knew his fields closely because he worked on his farm the whole day, had done nothing else but see the sky towards the northeast. Now, northeast is the direction from which he was expecting clouds to appear. And since morning, he had done nothing else, but he kept looking at the sky in the northeast. Now, we are really going to get some water, women. That is what he says. That now we are going to get some water for the field. The woman who was preparing supper replied, Yes, God willing. The older boys were working in the field, while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called to them all. Now this is the scene that is created. That before everything happened or before it started raining, the woman who was preparing supper, the last meal of the day, she says that God willing, if God is willing, then say it would, they would get water. The older boys were there, the younger boys were there, what they were doing. But the mother called them for dinner. It was during the meal that just as Lencho had prepared, 
had predicted big drops of rain began to fall in the northeast huge mountains of clouds could be seen approaching the air was fresh and sweet the men went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling and when he he exclaimed these are and rain drops falling from the sky they are new coins the big drops are 10 cent pieces and the little ones are fives so it started raining lencho was very happy as per his expectation it started raining when they were having meal he wanted to enjoy the rain because it was going to give them water and a lot of harvest so he in his excitement says that these are not rain drops these rain drops will get converted into coins the big rain drops will get converted into 10 cent pieces and the small ones small drops would get converted into fives with a satisfied expression he regarded the field of ripe corn with its flowers he was happy, he was satisfied that the field of ripe corn that was there with its flowers was really going to bloom and give a good bumper crop draped in the curtain of rain it was draped it was it was covered in the curtain of rain but suddenly a strong wind began to blow and along with the rain very large hailstones began to fall the rain drops converted into hailstones and all of a sudden instead of say a good shower in a downpour a strong wind started blowing and hailstones began to fall this truly did resemble new silver coins now the rain drops that appeared to be 5 cent and 10 cent instead of that it appeared to be silver coins the boys exposed themselves to the rain ran out to collect the frozen pearls now the hailstones appear to be like silver coins and the boys ran out into the rain to collect the frozen pearls it's really getting bad now exclaimed the man i hope it passes quickly now he really understood that whatever was the rain storm that was going on if it went on for a little longer time it would ruin and so he thought that it's really getting bad now i hope it passes quickly it did not pass quickly for an hour the hail 